what is going on YouTube, guys and gals. We got something different for you today. We are doing bank versus bank. So we've got Wells Fargo pennies versus a box of Bank of America. Now, uh, these are both sealed. This one was sealed in December 31st. So maybe we'll get some uh, good Christmas finds in here. But check this out, guys. I was looking at the top of this. And if you look right there, we have an ender right there. You can see the one cent. See that? So that is a wheat penny ender. That's awesome. Hopefully this is a really good box. All right, guys, let's go ahead and open this up. Snacks is going to open it for me. He's going to be opening up the Wells Fargo. I'm going to be opening up the Bank of America. So this one had the ender on the bottom side. Let's see if we have any enders on this side. Oh, we got a dirty looking one. Do we see any enders? Eh, not really seeing anything there. What is that? Uh, nope. All right. Flip it over real quick. Let's flip it over. Let's see what it is. Well, we won't see a date, but there we go. All right. I think it was down here. Is it that one? Where'd it go? I don't see one. It's here somewhere. It's right there. Oh, yeah. It's right there. Let's see what it is. Or at least look at it. So there is our ender. That's pretty sweet. Super awesome. What's on the other side of it? Looks like a newer one, 2000 maybe. All right, let's go ahead and see what he gets in the Wells Fargo. So again, this one was sealed December 31st. So hopefully some Christmas goodies. Oh, Ooh. okay, you're gonna have to pull them out real quick, hurry. Oh, Weedy. Weedy yeah, Ender. Right Whoa. See, now he was complaining. All right. He was complaining that I got a Weedy Ender and he got one as well. Where's it at? Right there. There it is. Right there. Let's see what you ended up getting. It is an, a Weedy Ender. All right. That's awesome. So we both have an Ender, guys. Ender versus Ender. That's pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna flip his over real quick and see if there's any on the other side. Okay, no. All right, so there were nothing, there was no enders on the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We both have an ender. We're both starting off with a weedy. All right, let's get going. All right, guys, a couple rolls in, Bank of America. We have our first find. If you look right there, far left, I've got Canadian Penny. And that is a 1994. All right, guys, it's been a few more rolls and Bank of America strikes again. Look right there. That is a Weedy right there. Let's see if there's anything else real quick before we take a look at that. That nope. All right, I don't see any other ones. So let's go ahead and find out what we got here. Let's zoom in. There we go. Ooh, it looks good on the back. But so I'm gonna say probably 50s, late 50s, maybe a 58. <laughs> and I hit it right on the mark. 1958, Denver. Pretty common coin. It was looking pretty nice, so I had a feeling that's what it was going to be. All right, so far, Wells Fargo with a big fat zero, Bank of America, two. All right, guys, we finally got a point for Wells Fargo. He's been going and going and going on that. Is it this one? Is it this one here? Mm -hmm. All right, it is this one here. Ooh, I like where we're going with this. It looks nice and worn on the backside. Hopefully, it's going to be an oldie. All right, first point, let's find out what it's gonna be. Oh, it's not that old. 1958, it's the same year as mine. Wow, I really thought that was gonna be a lot older by the wear on that coin, but that's still a point for Wells Fargo, so now it's one to two. 
Okay, the Wells Fargo comeback has begun. He just got another Weedy for Wells Fargo, so it's tied. So let's see what he ended up with. All right, there's our backside to it. I'm gonna say another 50s more than likely. It's in pretty nice shape. 1955 Denver. I wish that would have been a 55 plane date, but that's still pretty awesome. So now it's Wells Fargo 2, Bank of America 2, and we both still have a weedy ender. Bank of America striking again, guys. Boom, right there. We got a weedy. Let's see if we got anything else real quick. These boxes are not as jam-packed with wheats like I was hoping, but we are finding some. All right, nothing else. Let's take a look and see what we got. Come on, we need something older than 50s, please. Ni okay, 1952 Denver. And I'll have to check that. There could be a little something going on down there on the, the mint mark, possible RPM. Could just be some uh, grunge and dirt. But I'll check that. And now that brings me up to three. Three for Bank of America, two for Wells Fargo. All right, guys. Another find for Wells Fargo. And it's not what you think. Let's zoom in here. Uh, where is it at? Where'd it go? Oh, is it there? Oh, there it is. Look at that. He made money on that roll. Oh, they're stuck together. That's why. That's why you made money. They're literally stuck together, guys. So he ended up making an, an extra nine cents out of that. That's awesome. Let's see, what, see if we can get a date. Ugh, I don't even want to separate these, I don't think. Ugh. Here. Oh, here, pull that off. There we go. Eh, I can't see it. It's not silver, though. But that, I, I don't know if we're going to count that as a uh, find. I don't know. We'll give, we'll give it to you. You made money, right? So we'll give it to him. So now we're tied up uh, three to three. All right. Right after he found that dime, guys, look what I got. Right there. Boom. Weedy. And it's got some luster, I think. Let's take a look at it. Look at that, it's actually got some luster. Uh, more than likely it's gonna be from the 50s, but I'm hoping older and it's just in good shape. Let's go ahead and flip it over. It is a 58, another 58. Man, we get a lot of these tonight. But in a little bit better shape, I'm liking it. I like the, you can see all the different color in it. All right, let's keep going. I am now at four for Bank of America, three for Wells Fargo. All right, number four for Wells Fargo box. Let's see what he found. He, I believe it's a Weedy. All right, it is a Weedy. Zoom in a little bit. Again, this one looks really, really worn. Can we get something older than 50s? 1944 S, that is definitely older than 50s. We're in the 40s. Now, can we get into the 30s? That is the question. That would be amazing. All right, let's continue on. All right, we guys, we got Wells Fargo with another hit. Back to back. Back to back Wheaties. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. This makes number five for the Wells Fargo box. Again, look at that. Looks fairly worn. You can see some separation on the wheat hairs but I think it's gonna be older. It is, it's uh, 44, 1944, we had a 44S and now a 44 Philly. That's awesome. And guys, that was his last roll besides the Ender. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. You wanna put that under the scope real quick. There is the Weedy Ender for, the, this is for the Wells Fargo box. So we know we got one in there. Will there be another one in there? That is the question. And will it be old? So far, you've got the oldest though. So where's the weedy? Okay. It's gonna be on the end. Yeah. I don't know, I lost it. <laughs> there it is. All right, you found it, there it is. 
see if there's anything else. So not much in this box. Not much in the Wells Fargo box. But we got an ender. Let's find out what it is. Okay. I'm guessing 40s or 50s. Oh, 1941. So you went a little bit older. That is a total of five fines for the Wells Fargo. That's actually pretty low. Generally, generally around here, we find about six to 10 per box. Uh, I still have quite a few rolls left. So let's find out who's going to be the winner. All right, guys, a few rolls later, I got another Weedy, and I think it might be older. Let's go ahead and check it, check it out. There is the reverse of it. Ooh, pretty, pretty messed up on the back. Looks like it's been on a sidewalk a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip it over. 1941, so I just tied for uh, the oldest one in the boxes. So now both Bank of America and Wells Fargo have a 1941. That's the oldest one in both boxes. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, Bank of America striking again. What did I find this time? Uh, where'd it go? There it is right there. I lost it for a second. We got another Canadian. That is a 1998 Canadian. But guess what, guys? That brings our total there to six plus we have the ender which makes seven so right now bank of america is the winner and we still have all these to go let's keep going and find out what we got all right i've got a few rolls left guys i just got another find let's take a look right there another weedy what do we have i'm gonna say probably 40s or 50s because it looks pretty good and I was right, 1946. We still have not busted into the 30s yet. I'd like to get something old. Hopefully we can still do it within these rolls. Look at this guy's very next roll. Another weedy, another wheat. Let's see what we got. Come on, be old. So we've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This makes eight and we still have an ender. Oh, only a 1957. Pretty young, but we'll take it. Let's keep going. Guys, look at this. I got a double. I've got five rolls left. I got a double weedy in this one. Right there, right there. Let's bring them over, zoom in. All right, this one's looking pretty good. I'm going to guess 50s. And 1953, that is a Denver. And let's see what this one is. I'm gonna put that down and let's find out what this one is. This one looks good too, so I'm guessing 50s again, but I'm hoping it's old because if it is, that's an amazing shape for an oldie. And it's not old, it's a 1958. That's the very last year for the Wheaties. But look at this guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So plus the one in my roll, uh, that's going to be 11. So, so far, 11 finds. Bank of America is blowing Wells Fargo away. Let's find out what we got in his last five rolls. Let's go ahead and open this ender up and see what we get. I, I took, a, took a little look at it and it looked like it had a little bit of wear. Maybe just pull that one out. Yeah, just go like that. And that way we can find out, whoops, what we had. Where to go? There we go. All right, let's see what we got here. Yes! It took me a second. Guys, we did it. I got the oldest, well, we'll say... Bank of America got the oldest. We almost made it into the 20s. 1930, right on the nose. And that is a Philadelphia. I looked at the back and I it, those wheat stalks looked a little, a little worn, but I didn't think it was going to be that old. 
That's awesome. Oldest one, that's amazing. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in this roll. Will there be anything else? I don't know. I'm gonna zoom out a little more just so we can kind of look and see. That is amazing. 1930, how old is that? How old is 1930? 90. Like that's, yeah, I was gonna say that's like, nine. oh look, yes. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. We got another double roll. That's gonna make number 12 for Bank of America. Holy cow. And this one looks like it could be old as well. Let's find out what's it gonna be. 1945S, all right, so that's a San Francisco mint mark. That leaves Bank of America with 12 total fines to Wells Fargo six, uh, minus the dime, which we already put uh, in the box there. So that is awesome, guys. Box battle done. It's complete. Bank of America is the winner. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.